Let's ultrasound! On today's edition of General Ultrasound, we're covering the Scanning Mistakes Gallery. And today we're deep diving into the aorta with scanning mistake number one. Mistake number one when imaging the aorta on ultrasound is not being able to find the actual aorta. So how does the abdominal aorta lie in the body? The abdominal aorta is a straight vertical tube and it lies to the left side of the patient's body. So if you're looking in the center of the patient's body or to the right side of the patient's body, you're either going to not see any long straight tubes or you're going to run into to the IVC. And it's very common to mix up the IVC and the aorta when you're first learning aorta ultrasound. The good news about the aorta is that it can be visualized using an exact sagittal or exact transverse ultrasound transducer orientation. And this is helpful because many organs like the kidneys do not lie in an exact sagittal or exact transverse plane, and this makes it harder when you're first learning them to image them. And most of the time, a supine patient position is gonna be the best position for visualizing the aorta. So what happens when you get a large patient or a gassy patient and you just can't see the aorta? First of all, have the patient take a deep breath in and hold it. This is gonna help you visualize especially the deeper portions of the aorta, such as the proximal aorta. Next, you wanna press harder with your transducer. When you're first learning ultrasound, one of the easiest things to do to improve your images is simply press harder. Also, check your frequency. Do you need to decrease your frequency to penetrate all the way down through the aorta? You can also roll your patient into a left lateral decubitus position, although this can be a tough position to visualize the aorta. Although sometimes, When you can't see the aorta from a supine position, this strategy can help. Another strategy is to scan from an intercostal approach. This can be a tricky window, and it's harder to elongate the aorta across the screen from this window, as usually you'll only see little pieces of the aorta. However, this is a great window to use when you're imaging really large or really gassy patients. And then if all else fails, roll your patient into a left lateral decubitus position, try for a couple of minutes to visualize the aorta, and if you're unsuccessful, roll the patient back to a supine position. In the interim, often this patient position will kind of move that gas around, so when you go back to a supine position, you'll now be able to see the aorta with greater clarity. 